one of the recent strategies in the Indian education ecosystem is the integration of the vocational training stream with the academic education stream. There are several reasons why the need has been felt so urgently. Some are obvious while many are not so. Among the obvious reasons are the vocational training is not aspirational, the final output in the form of a skilled youth is not acceptable to the industry as they do not meet the standards expected. The training, course content, pedagogy, quality of labs and teachers are not up to the mark, so on and so forth. The irony is that more or less the same set of arguments are advanced towards the formal academic system like passed out students have only paper qualifications, lacking understanding of concepts, quality of teachers, course is not in sync with the present requirements and so on. In this podcast, I will articulate few strategies for integration between these two streams and propose the conceptual underpinning for this to happen. While there seems no dearth of grants in funding both at the federal and the state level to correct this situation, I am afraid that Not enough attention is being given to ensure smooth integration of both these streams to ensure coherent, relevant and seamless sequences of courses that result in significant academic and vocational competencies. It is obvious why such a reform is required urgently. Uh, Employers' criticism that schools are delivering workers who lack problem-solving abilities, higher-order thinking skills, communication, employability skills, all crucial for to work in a national, local, national, global economy. Academic educators, on the other hand, suffer criticism for providing curriculum that lacks participatory forms of learning and opportunities for students to connect learning to the real world events. Despite the availability of funds, the timely disbursement is a question mark that's getting affected due to the red tapes prevailing at the state or district levels. In short, there is a huge accountability issue in both these, in both the academic and uh, vocational sub ecosystem. Any student enrolled for a vocational course must be exposed to successfully complete a coherent and in-depth course that ideally combines both vocational and academic study. Let me elaborate this by giving a practical example from Germany. In Germany, for the vocation of industrial and trade mechanics or and, and tools and die makers, machinists, draftspersons, as well as mechanical engineering students, a manual titled Mechanical and Metal Trades Handbook is prescribed. This handbook has chapters on mathematics, physics, technical drawing, machine elements, automation, information technology, and so on. The Mechanical and Metal Trades Handbook is well suited for shop reference, tooling, machine building, maintenance, and as a general book of knowledge. It is also useful for educational purposes, especially in practical work or curricula and continuing education programs. Such an effort to develop teaching material that integrate both these streams calls for a curriculum of applied academics in which academic and vocational teachers from vocational schools and secondary and higher education schools work together to develop integrated curricula, often teaching as a team, interdependent team. The benefits of such integration efforts are that they can establish relationships among teachers from academic and vocational areas 
enable schools to prepare students for clusters of related occupations with varied skill levels, initiate the alignment and sequencing of academic and vocational course content, and encourage the restructuring of curriculum and course sequences along the lines of clusters or career paths. A conceptual model that seamlessly combines both these streams will depend, according to me, on five strategic pillars, if you will. The first strategic pillar would be to incorporate more academic content in vocational teachings. An example which I gave a while ago when I talked about the Mechanical and Metal Trades Handbook. The second strategic pillar would be to create a joint body of academic teachers and vocational teachers in curriculum development. This crossbreeding will go a long way in developing suitable contents both in academic subjects and vocational courses as well as developing academic competencies and mutual trust and appreciation. The third strategic pillar would be to make academic courses more vocationally relevant. Potentially all students, vocational and general track students, could be targeted for this approach. That involves, according to me, academic teachers in modifying courses or adopting new courses to include more vocational content. The fourth pillar pertains to curriculum alignment. In order to develop mutual appreciation and criticality of academic courses and vocational subjects, it is important to foster interdependencies between these two streams. This approach is designed to change the content of both vocational and academic courses and to consider the sequence of courses rather than viewing the courses as individual and independent silos or offerings. The last strategic pillar would be to develop an internal academy or university or school within a school model, school within a school model. In this class within a class or school within a class concept, let's say four or five teachers typically collaborate and the team together teach in maths, English, science, physics, and the vocational subjects, that's the core of the so-called academy. Each group of students studies these subjects with the same team of teachers for two or three years in the academy and takes all other subjects in the regular high school. What are the benefits? The benefits are sustained contact between teachers and students, in-depth understanding of both the academic subjects as well as the vocational subjects, and therefore developing better insight and sharper skills, smaller class size, teachers' commitment to the academy model, and connections with organizations, industries, who are linked with this program. And that's an important element of connecting the industry with this model to make it more realistic. This model offers substantial opportunity for both horizontal and vertical alignment as teachers can coordinate the topics that uh, they teach and adjust the sequences of topics over time. The Government of India has very well articulated its vision for the country's youth through its National Education Policy 2020. It has set an ambitious target that requires each state to strive to provide at least 50% of its secondary students with vocational education. Its policy is largely driven by Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, which has the basic assumption of treating education as a continuum and in conformity with the, the Sustainable Development Goal number four, and also links with what we call as a lifelong education. In order for this to become a reality, a seamless integration in academic and vocational education is the need of the hour. Thank you very much.